Living beyond age 100, the most frequently overlooked retirement risk. No discussion between a financial advisor and their customer is complete without a discussion about life expectancy. Why? Because medical technology is making living to age 100 more likely every day. Perhaps the best example of this is Ida Mae Fuller. You may have heard of Ida Mae Fuller. She was the very first Social Security recipient. I've asked people many times, how old is the woman in this photo? And I get responses somewhere between age 70 and 85 or even 90. The fact is, she's 65 in 1940. I know people who are 85 years old who look better than this woman does. However, long life magnifies all other retirement risks. This report is for a woman age 65. As you can see, her risk of living to age 100 is 9.1%. Living this long magnifies the risk of inflation. Assuming 3% inflation, what costs her today a dollar will cost $2.81 when she's age 100. The market will go up and down. On average, the booms last 38 months and the bus lasts 17 months. How many buses are there going to be in the next 35 years? Interest rate instabilities, we're seeing that right now. Highest interest rate was 20% in 1979. The lowest was one quarter of 1% 1 in 2008. Financial pitfalls, medical expenses, overspending, income taxes, high interest rates from debt, confidence schemes, loans to family members, lawsuits, home repairs, and other expected events. The bottom line is living to age 100 means you're increasing the risk of running out of money and being poor at a very old age. During the Great Depression, it became clear that everyone should ensure their retirement income against these risks by purchasing a government-sponsored annuity known as Social Security. If your Social Security paycheck is insufficient to meet your monthly obligations, you can transfer a portion of your 401k or IRA assets to a private annuity to fill this income gap. This will help protect you against running out of money even if you live past age 100.